Hey you right guys, Trey from Watches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 22 of Gilmore Season 2 which is of course the finale. I watched episode 21 about 40 minutes ago and I thought you know what why not just finish off the season. Get the season done we can have the last episode and this kind of go hand in hand quite nicely I think so uh, I'm assuming this is going to be the build up towards Sucky's wedding. Uh, hopefully more happens than just that because as I said in the previous episode I am not invested in this wedding whatsoever I feel like even the show's not really that bothered it's just kind of like yeah he proposed and then five episodes later they mentioned that he's going along and then Emily tried to get a bit involved and now we're having the wedding that was really about it so we'll see what kind of goes down um, I'm assuming this is going to be the end of Dean and Rory I don't see that romance kind of going longer than this season or if it does then the start of season three like literally the first episode about the kind of like yeah me and dean are kind of done <laughs> um but we'll see so episode 22 guys if you enjoy make sure to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to gilmore girls then patreon will of course be linked down below where they, they will be on around episode 10 of season three uh but for now let's do this oh yep this is the wedding look how disgusting that photo was this <laughs> Uh, yeah, that looks great. God, everyone looks exhausted. I seem to remember the finale of season one wasn't very good. Let me check. Maybe not awful. What did I give it? Like a five? Yeah, it wasn't great. I remember it was just about Max. Huh? No. Suki, you've got to be kidding. What? You cannot walk down the aisle for that. Why? It's depressing. A woman who can't make her relationship work, whose life is filled with emptiness and regret and pain. Yeah, maybe don't start with that one. What are these? Well, those are some alternative songs, but I really like this one in the back. No. If you like it, go for it. It's your day, but no. To cheer him up? Seasons in the sun? <laughs> Michelle's face, then. Wonderful suggestion. Great. Let's hear it. Okay, here we go. How about I leave? <laughs> and then do what? <laughs> That's it. I leave. I vote for that, actually, yeah. Anyone else you want to invite? I've got Lane, I've got Dean, I'm good. What about Emily and Richard? Yes! If we don't have Emily and Richard in the, especially Emily in the finale, then what is the point? I mean, if it wasn't for your mother, I never would have said I'd love the color pink. Why is that? Well, I wanted yellow, and she said no. No, yeah, with logic like that. Sounds like sounds like Emily to be fair. Hey, okay, I'll ask her. Good. What are you doing? It gets happier the second time you hear it. Uh. Of course. Oh, it's gonna put me to sleep. Hey, you do you though, Suki. Someone on Patreon let me know the singer of this song was the woman who owned the music shop that Lane went to. So that was kind of cool. I mean, the character was, wasn't great, but... Oi is the funniest word in the entire world. Oi. Hmm. I mean, think about it. You never hear the word oi and not smile. Impossible. Funny, funny word. Oh, dear God. Poodle <laughs> is another funny word. Please drink your drink, Lorelai. Poodle. In fact, if you put oi and poodle, poodle together oi, poodle. in the same sentence, you'd have a great new catchphrase, you know? Like... Oi, with the poodles already. <laughs> so from now on, when the... <laughs> I'm with Emily, I think. Lorelai, for God's sake, be quiet. <laughs> running, Mrs. <gasps> Emily anger, gets it. To Gilmore. He's in his den. Yes, ma'am. Shall we? It's like, we love Lorelai, but also... Oh, God, Lorelai, please be quiet. Well, that sounds very nice. When is it? A week from Sunday. A week from Sunday. Yes. What's happening? The wedding Emily doesn't week. seem yes. too happy So this is a pity this. invite. Oh at the last minute and rather than being left with two empty seats Suki asked you to ask us how nice well that's not actually what happened but <laughs> she must have at least given you an invitation to give us she thought it would be more special coming directly from me <laughs> I don't know about that I never felt so special <laughs> she wants you to come there's no reason to be insulted here um, look isn't Rory pretty apologies all right. <laughs> just shift it onto Rory she's talking about how pretty Rory is big eyes baby give him the bambi face oh Rory gets lovelier every day well thank you grandpa oh Richard oh god Guess there we what go. Just told me. What? We are invited to Suki's wedding. Oh, how nice. When is it? A week from Sunday. Oh, <laughs> so it's a pity. Oh, uh, even Richard gets it. God, Rora's bored, are you pancakes? Good. Good or really? Good. I uh, punched a wall this morning, and that felt exhilarating, and then I went to the shooting range and shot a bird. But are they great? Rory, uh... Would you perhaps like to trade breakfasts? You mean your pancakes for my eggs? Yep. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Dean, no. Pancakes over eggs, scrambled eggs any day. What are you on about? Crazy. These pancakes are great. Uh, Dean lost. That's how you know he really loves Rory, because it's, oh my god. She and Luke have been in this fight for too long. She's got to do this. You're cruel. Tough love, baby. Oops. 
I think she's... Surely that's more embarrassing than just coming inside. Okay. I did it. I'm in. Good girl. Jean, don't leave me. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. And good luck. Luke's right there, so he definitely would have heard all that as well. Oh, good donut selection this morning. Really. Good variety, good colour, good goodness. Good... Oh, he's having none of it. Maple or kiki or apple or uh, raised. <laughs> Is he waiting for her to apologise? I don't really know what Luke's waiting for, to be honest. And can I have chocolate and a sprinkle, please? Okay. Or is he just kind of done with it at this point, maybe? So this is how it's going to be with us now, huh? No idea what you're talking about. Really, Luke? You don't know what, you, you don't know what she's talking about? Stop. Stop what? Oh, stop this robot talk. If you're yeah, mad, what is this, Luke? like you're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad. I'm not holding a grudge. I heard your apology. I feel I'm being polite. I listened to your donut bit. I got you your coffee. <laughs> what would make you happy? I want Luke back. He's standing right here. No. No, no, no. No, he's not. That ain't Luke. That's puke, am I right? Get him out. What can you do for your school? I will tell you what you can do. You can vote for me. Paris Geller for student body president. Yep. And let me start tomorrow for mm. you today. Okay. Thank you. I thought it was a pretty good speech. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank Reese McKinley, Shotzi Leeson, and Paris Geller. Who are these two losers? Just get Paris voted in instantly. This concludes today's assembly. You are all dismissed. Whatever. Rory didn't even clap. What is this? 150 students were pulled. A total cross-section. We talked to people that we should never have even had to stand near. God forbid. Not making this stuff up. <laughs> I'm sorry, have I ever been mistaken for a patient person? <laughs> uh. Quiet. Most competent, most qualified. What else is there? Well, we also polled likability. And? And while mm, people you're think you're smart and competent. And competent, they also find you, likability, well, I guess goes a tad a long way. scary. So the likability issue would affect their voting choice? Almost 100% said yes. That's uh, crazy. You mean people would rather vote for a moronic twink who they liked over someone who can actually do the job? Well, yeah. <laughs> they hate me, okay? Who hates you? Everyone. Everyone in the whole school hates me. I wonder me. why. Oh, yeah, they think I'm the best for the job. <laughs> I mean, Paris is great, I think, when you get to know her a bit, I guess. But I think Rory's the only person who has got to that point. I don't want to be in politics. I just want to write about politics. You won't have to do anything. I'll do all the work and make the speeches. You just have to sit there and be nice. No, but fine. Harvard loves this kind of crap. Oh, good point. Being vice president is just one more thing to put you ahead of the rest of the hundreds of thousands. She has a point. This one here? Wait, which one? Hey, you in the light. Come on. Point is that Jackson? Dad? Christopher? Hey. Oh. Aha, there you are. Is he still on? No, he's just doing? popping a load. Oh, I didn't miss it. He's in it way more than I thought he would be. I thought he'd be like one of those characters that pops in once a season or something. I prefer it this way. Okay, is everyone here now? I think so. Okay, oh, they're gonna have a Laura and Christopher hook up again. Possible, we'd like to keep the arm. Oh, I'll try my best. Oh God. You could come with us to the dinner. But it's Suki's rehearsal dinner. Oh, she would love it. She's cooking for a thousand. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm bringing Dean. There's no way. I mean, I'm guessing the whole town's invited, so probably about a thousand people who live here. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming she was joking. We got Kirk, though. Gentlemen, honored guests. <laughs> who owns the silver Volvo? Because you're blocking me in. <laughs> well, it's better than the two she made at the... Oh, honored guests. <laughs> that much to him. Are you crazy? Well, he's your father. You so? want me wear shorts in public? You're gonna let me get married in this. I think it's like, oh, Emily wants this. Your dad wants this. They want the music. It's like, bro, do what you want. Okay, that's it. I need some air. <laughs> Grab the bottle. Bossy. I like it. These two are gonna hook up. Plenty of pictures of this wedding because I have a feeling it's gonna be a classic. You know, if you're gonna be in town for we'll the see. day, you should if just someone come gets run with over. us and thanks. Ah, uh, there's an old jacket on. <laughs> that old move. Agree to come to the wedding. Because I can. Don't you have to check your appointment book? It's on a Sunday. Don't you have to check with Sherry? We broke up. They broke Chris, up. what's up? Nothing. Sherry's not in town. Ah. Oh. And even if she was, I still don't think she'd mind if I went. Okay, so because this, she's a cool Because we broke up. World. Because things aren't going too well for us lately. Ah, very convenient. She left, and we said we'd take this time apart to think. Ah, uh, that means thinking. it's done then. About finding an apartment. You'll come with me to Suki's wedding, and you make sure I stop one or two Brigadoonism shy of 
Jackson taking me out with a bagpipe. It would be my pleasure. Oh, it's so annoying that they have chemistry. And I keep reiterating that. The almonds I made for table five went. How? Because they were here last night before Suki's dinner. Really? How odd. It took me six hours to make those almond bundles, Mother. Well, see if you can beat that next time. Really? You got home late from Suki's? <laughs> Not even a sorry. Just, yeah, well, I ate them. Piss off. I have done my best. I have lost. Mr. Nixon has won. The democratic process has worked its will. She's already got badges made. Where are you? In the auditorium. Of course she is. One last meet and greet. Get them right before they walk Isn't in. Isn't it a Sunday? Leave that place right now. Because even if I win, I only won because of you. Therefore, either way, I lose. Come on, mm, go well. get a cup of coffee, relax. Get back to the gossip, please. Oh, yeah, okay. So, guess who's in the process of breaking up? Fred and Jen. Bite your tongue. I don't know. Um. Sherry. And maybe. Dad. No. Yes. Dad told you that? Last night. Why are you smiling? I'm not smiling. I had a little stroke. Smiling. A little no. stroke. Look, if he was all broken up about it, then I would be sad. Yeah, because you can shoot your shot now. What? That. The Jordan almond that you pulled out of your pajama top and ate. Where did you get it? Mm. Santa Claus? Sorry that you wasted six hours of your life for me to destroy it. Now I am going home unless you would like me to stay. Actually, I would. Thanks. No, no, be free. I'm sorry. I think I said that wrong. I am going home now, unless you would like me to stay. I would love you to stay. Thanks for offering. Okay, see, once again, my <laughs> English not so good. One more time. I am going home to wash off the stench of this horrifying day that is unless That's for a, some unknown God for way to second reason. Say you it. need me to stay. Why would you add that bit? Well, actually. Goodbye. <laughs> Just don't add that bit. I'm now going straight to bed. Your last night as a single woman. Yep. You still look good. I still feel good. I mean, she, I don't think she's single. She's in a relationship, no, but I get what you mean. It's fine. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I bet, like, Sucky blows up or something. That's how the season ends. <sighs> I got up. Yeah, he's on the arm. Just now, didn't I? Yes, you did. Oh, good. Well. Oh. Loaf. <laughs> He's biting his lip, he's looking at her. I saw it all. Oh happen. my god, he's all I mean, coming a Jackson. mile away. I watched them meet. Look at him. Several bizarrely intense. Oh, he's playing with his hair. Oh. The hands on the arm. Oh, we've got the. <laughs> Hi. Just kiss and get Hi. it over with. And. There you go. There you go. Confirmed. What was that? I have no idea. I could tell you what it was, but I won't. One more time and maybe I'll have an explanation. Oh! <sighs> this is not happening. I hope to God you're wrong. Oh, I may God. It's us. I mean, you and I... Well, now that you just broke up with your ex, aren't you? What do we do now? Bang! You know, I've got a room upstairs. Ah, there it is. Not sure you'd get lucky. I never dreamed I'd get this lucky. Oh, is that a no? Is that a get right, Christopher? Ah, oh, no, I don't think it is a get right, Christopher. I think it's a... Uh, yeah, the other one. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> now step away from all things edible. Is she uh, panicking about what it? What happened? I don't know. Honey, you're nervous. It's natural. Yeah, I think you're panicking about it. I wasn't nervous until tonight. <laughs> well, making jokes about husband number two. I want number one to last. I know. Well, we'll see. We've got how many seasons to find out? Like five left after this? Anything. Tell me something to make me stop thinking about this. I just slept with Christopher. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. I'll do it. I mean, is this a good thing? I don't know. I think it is. Oh, God. It won't be. He's going to leave at the end of the episode. He's going to be like, see you later. He can't do that. If he does that, I'll be. that'll be it for me. Now you go get some sleep. And you go Hell get yeah. some. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Room service. I do like this hotel. Nom, nom, nom. He so gobbles it up. You should have bought more than that. What just happened here? Amazing. <laughs> Okay, great. Solid 7 out of 10, then. Then there's Rory to think about. I mean, we can't just go changing everything on her now. Not 
Unless. Not unless it's going to be a pretty permanent change. Which it won't be, because she's going to end up with Luke, so. I'm, I'm not so sure. The timing seems right, Laura. Maybe I like season does. three. Maybe all this stuff we went through, done. that's the journey we needed to take to end up here. Mm, he seems pretty down for it, but I don't believe it. I guess we'll never know until we try. So. Well, we'll I try. guess we're doing it. Yeah. We try. Season three, up one. Oh, Chris was left. Watch. What if I wanted the bread on the ham on rye toasted? Are we talking somewhere in between the patty melt and the untoasted? Probably. What? I don't closer know what to you're the melt about this one. Burke, peanut butter and jelly to go. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> so pointless then. Oh. You haven't gone for that long then. How'd you get in here? The door was open. No, I mean, I, I was in the diner. I would have. Yeah, there is that. Seen you come up the stairs. You know, I just expected you to call me back. Say you got home. Say no one mugged you on the bus. Say you. Uh, were okay. say, you know what? Never mind. Just tell me what it is you want. I, I got work to do. He's going to apologize. I want to come back. Oh, he wants to come what? back. Yes. Oh, at least he wasn't gone for ages. Thank God. You want to come back? Yes. Why? I just, I, he misses it. You know what people told me when I said you were coming here to live with me? They told me I was crazy. They told me I was insane. They told me to start writing letters <laughs> to Jodie Foster, but I ignored them. Oh, for me, he's going to die. <laughs> Never mind. Things are going to have to be different, Jess. I yeah, know. lay down some rules. <laughs> Maybe the heavy battle okay. at two in the morning. Okay. She's not home. Oh. Uh. Who? She's at Suki's wedding with Dean. They're still together. They seem to have gotten through the whole car incident. They're doing really good, Dean and Rory. Yeah. Good. I don't th I don't know about for long though. She's got a boyfriend. Just let it go. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just going out for a walk. You heard what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said. I don't think he's gonna take any of that on board, so. Oh, I bet Dean's going to see him at the end. Hey, you. Hey, you look oh, nice. Oh, Dean, Thank hold you. on to your belt. You beautiful. Thank you. They were the wild card, because believe me, if anybody's going to be truly scared of me, it's some artsy loser with a tuba wrapped around his head. <laughs> How did you get this number? Oh, relax. I won't call you on Prince William's precious oh, phone again. I just wanted you to know that we did it. We're in. Welcome to the show. Uh, right. Okay, sure. I think we won. I guess you're in politics in season three as well. Dean, you clean up really nicely. Uh, thank you. <laughs> she you know, loves Dean. Hide from Patty and Babette once they hit the hooch. I already told them. Okay, well, I gotta check on some things. See you guys later. So he went on to do Supernatural in probably about three years from this point, so two, three years. I like that. Everyone here will think we did it. Oh! Oh! All right, you don't want to do anything. Eager and willing to repeat last night? <laughs> Uh, Mom, Dad, hi. Mm. Richard, Emily. Well, hello, Christmas. Emily what saw that. Look surprise. at her. <laughs> we came. Of course we came. We were invited. Hello, Christopher. <laughs> After all that at the start. So you thought the invitation was rude? It was rude. However, it would have been equally rude for us not to attend the wedding when we were perfectly capable of doing so. So we came. That's called good. rising above it. Because <laughs> she's so good at that, Emily. I believe I'll join you. See what sort of scotch they're serving here. Good old bit of brandy. <laughs> Answer my last question. Emily knows. What on earth is Christopher doing here? <laughs> um, well, in fact, Mom, you might be seeing a lot more of Christopher from now on. I don't know. Because I won't get your hopes up. Yes. He'll be visiting his daughter. Okay. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> okay, I'm cool. <laughs> After midnight. <laughs> oh, I'll lean on the drumsticks. After midnight, searching for you. <laughs> Coke better find happiness by the end of the show. I'll be mad. Even I'd argue he's like happy pretty much all the time. But what exactly are your intentions? Excuse me. Your intentions are they honourable? Completely honourable. Yeah, because we have been waiting for this for a really long time, and we take disappointment extremely hard. Oh, he's gonna disappoint him. He definitely is going to do that. It's probably work. On a Sunday? Hey, lady, I've got a lot of responsibility now, okay? Okay. Be right back. Mm. Oh, there it is. La, la, la. <laughs> Dean's going to see him. Move back. What? 
Don't move back. Him leaving was just him being dramatic then, because he left for literally like two weeks. Oh! What the hell? That happened rapid! Oh my god. Yeah, Lord. you just cheated on Dean. Don't say a word. Okay. Poor Dean, I feel bad for him. <laughs> he's getting so dragged across the concrete, Dean is. And he's not really done much wrong, is the worst part. I have to go. <laughs> what? You, Why? You're joking. I have to take care of something. Chris. I'm sorry, really. I'll, I'll call you later, see how it went. <laughs> he's gonna die. <laughs> what? Tell me why you're leaving. <laughs> I don't think it's, what, that's what what's going on? Sherry called. She's back. So? <sighs> so, you're going home. You're gonna tell me you're moving out? And... <sighs> Christopher. No. <sighs> Really? Okay. I can't believe this. I mean, I really can't. Are you joking? You're taking the literal piss. You're a knob. Go away. Prick. Cherry's pregnant. Oh, oh my. She just found out and she called me as soon as she found out. And that was her calling to tell me that oh. she found out. Pregnant. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I missed it before with Roy. I wasn't there. I wasn't a part of it. I know. And I never forgave myself. Oh, God, he's so actually... I'm, I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to take off. That complicates things. I thought he was just going back to her to give it a good old go. I have to walk down the aisle in a minute and be really happy for Suki. And right now I'm having a little trouble standing. So mm. maybe it would be better if you would just go. Oh, he's such a knob. I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have just said all that shit unless you were like a thousand percent... Tell Rory. I will. And great, you're just gonna you know, I'm done with him. Go, bye, you're done. I've been kind of rooting for you a little bit these two seasons, but he's done now. Congratulations. Yeah. Fool me once. Fool me twice. Fool me three to <laughs> that's this Christmas. Go. Uh gonna both of a bit of a pickle there. I think I'm going to Washington. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And these are going to be apart for a few months. Oh, will there be a time skip in the next step? Because it usually the guy skips the summer. Oh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I hope they don't. Because then they'll like... I, I have a worry... <laughs> That they'll do like, oh yeah, Dean and Laura, I um, oh God, I hope not. Dean and Rory aren't together anymore, so but we haven't seen that. We've just kind of time skipped three months. We'll we'll see because a lot of shows obviously they do the time skip in between seasons, so time will tell on that one. But uh, yeah, another good episode, far better than the finale in season one for sure. The finale in season one was very much just Laura and I and Max kind of. There's more to it obviously than just that, but that was the main premise of it. Uh, whereas this is kind of. Lorai, Christopher, messing up again. Again, it's a hard one because he obviously didn't know she was pregnant. He wasn't going to expect that, but he shouldn't have said anything. Like, he should not have just said anything until, like... He shouldn't have even slept with Lorelai or anything like that until, like, him and whatever her name is were fully done and it hadn't been, like, a couple of days of him moving out. That was him being an idiot, so... Yeah, good job, Christopher. I'm fully done with his character at this point. Like I said, I feel like I've been the only one who's been kind of thinking maybe he's an alright guy. And I don't think he's, like, evil or, like, the worst thing or anything like that. But, yeah, I, I can't root for him at this point. It's done. So, bye. Yeah, I think he's gone at this point. Um, God, thank God I didn't read the description for this episode. I'm, I'm going to read the, dis the synopsis to this episode. Um... We don't need to read that bit. Christopher comes to town for the removal of Rory's cast and decides to stay for Sucky's wedding. After he confesses that his relationship with Sherry is over and Lorelai rekindle their relationship, oh, he and Lorelai rekindle their relationship, much to the delight of both Rory and Emily. Their reunion, however, is cut short when Sherry calls Christopher to tell him she's pregnant and Christopher returns to Boston, leaving Lorelai devastated. <laughs> Yeah, great. Thank God I didn't read that. I'm never going to read... I don't read synopsis to the episodes anyway, but uh, thank God. These are just descriptions of the entire episode, basically. And then Rory kissing Jess. Like I said, I feel like Dean's not really done anything wrong, but at the same time, 
Her Rory and Dean weren't really working that well anyway. I feel like they were fine, but I, I've even said since season one, I've never loved Dean and Rory. I think they've been reasonably okay together. So uh, I'm not. I think Rory is doing the wrong thing for sure. I don't think Dean deserves this, but at the same time, her and Jess just have far more chemistry. Like they just do, and Jess is a far more interesting character. Dean is like fine. He, he exists. He's never really done anything that I think is exceptional. I've never been really impressed by his character. He's had good moments, but uh, I think her and Dean need to be done. And I mean, she did just cheat on him, so it's not like I'm exactly rooting for Rory as well. But uh, I think she's gone around this the complete wrong way. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm sure she's confused with, like, how she... Not at this point. I think at this point it's very clear how she feels. But I think I could have given her the benefit of the doubt a few episodes ago. Whereas her trying to figure it out for herself, but at this point it's like, come on, let's get it sorted now. Oh, this person commented their favourite episode and their least favourite. Favourite episode, episode 10, the Brace Bridge Dinner. Was that the Christmas episode? Where Yeah, that was the Christmas episode where they were all stuck in the hotel. And then their least favourite episode was episode 14. It should have been Lorelei. What was that one? I gave that one a 7. Christopher comes to town on a business trip with Sherry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that one, the episode where we met Sherry. Yeah, all right, that is so... And then we didn't really see the wedding. God, that just kind of speed run at the end. Rating for the episode, I'll go a 7.8. Actually, I think this is a perfect rating on track. as 78%. I think that's pretty spot on. So we'll go 7.8 out of 10 uh, for this one. And as for season two as a whole, this has an 86% on track, which I think is... Wild. That is very high, very high. Obviously, each to their own. But season one had an eighty-six percent as well, and so does season three. Uh, and then it starts to dip from there. Season four has eighty-two. Season five has eighty-three. Season six has seventy-eight, and then season seven has the lowest with seventy-six percent, which is typically the case. It's like shows just kind of plateau in percentages. Um, yeah, the first four episodes of this season were not great. Especially, like, season, episodes three and four were very rocky. I did not love those episodes. Episode five, obviously, Jess came into it. I think that's where it really started to pick up, and then we had a few good episodes from there. Episode nine was a bit eh. But then episode ten was the first great episode of the season. So very late into the season where we got a really great episode, which was the one where they were all in the hotel, and you start to build more on the chemistry between Jess and Rory, and we had Emily being iconic, of course. Then we had a six, so that wasn't great. Then we had a good episode, episode 12. Then a great episode with that 13. That was the annual Stars Hollow picnic bas basket lunch. Um, oh, yeah, and Jess outbids Dean for Rory's basket. So, yeah, that was a really great episode. Then another good episode. Then episodes 15 and 16 were the two best episodes of the season for me, which I think I'm in the minority for because, like I say, episode 15 are 76%, so that's very... That's one of the lowest rated of the entire season. And then episode 16 only has a 77%. But that was one where Emily and Lorelai went to their spa and Emily was done. I, I love that episode. Um, yeah. Oh, and then, yeah, uh, Jess snuck around to hang out with Paris and Rory and Dean found out, I think. So, uh, yeah, that was, what, that was my favourite episode of the season, I think. Episodes 15 and 16. Then episode 17 was great as well. 18, episode 19 was with the car crash. That was a good episode. 20 was good. And then uh, obviously we've ended with 21 and 22. So yeah, it's a bit of, it's a very mixed bag, I think, this season. I think it started off very eh, then got good, then got great, then got good again, then got incredible, <laughs> then went back to being good, and then ended great to good. So mixed bag. I. I don't know, I'm torn. I gave season 1 a 7 out of 10. I seem to remember, like, it wasn't any higher than a 7. I'd say this is better than season 1, but I don't know if I'd go as high as an 8. I don't know. I feel like I would have thought I'd give this an 8 out of 10 because everyone says this is, like, the best season. Um, I don't know. How many episodes did I give an 8 or higher? At 5... Sorry, I ramble on in these reviews. Ep 10, Ep 13, Ep 15 and 16, Ep 17, and then Ep 21. 
So like one third of the season, I'd say, was great. Yeah, that sounds about so one third's great, one third's good, and then one third is like meh to okay. Oh, I don't know. It's a very high seven or an eight. That is that is hard. That is tricky. That is tricky. I'll go a high seven, I think. I think we're gonna go a seven point eight out of ten. Same rating as the finale. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. A 7.8 out of 10 for this one, guys, for Season 2. I might push it to an 8 if I think about it more, but at the moment I'm feeling a 7.8. I don't think it was an 8 out of 10. And I definitely don't think it was an 86%. Yeah, that's very high. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And if you do one bit early and uncuts, Patreon will be linked down below where they will be uh, about halfway through Season 3 by the time this one's on YouTube. And I'll see you next time for Episode 1 of Season 3. We'll, of course, do the tier list and the Q&A at the start of that video as well. So until then, take care. Peace.